This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Manchester City. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. Rain in Manchester, not a new concept. We're at the home of Manchester City tonight. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It is Manchester City, and they take on Arsenal. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Kai Havertz starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. White and City with the ball again well if you're the opposing defender you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland what are you expecting to see from him in this game Stuart and a goal it is but offside is the verdict well it's a good finish but he was just offside great decision by the assistant Alvarez regained possession that's a good ball and they might forge ahead he's blocked it De Bruyne well for power 10 out of 10 for placement maybe 8 Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. De Bruyne, and drawing it back. Keeper did his job to begin with, and held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Showing a real will to win the ball. He has teammates around him. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Wonderfully weighted pass. Now breaking at pace, potential danger. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. This to make it 1-0. Can they keep it out? And I think the threat has been averted. Kevin De Bruyne. A 
Oh, nice ball. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? go again and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal Gabriel Martinelli Martinelli determined defending Alvarez the ball with Rodri City couldn't keep it Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Determined defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will they profit from this situation? And playing it back. Given away by City. Gabriel Jesus. And teammates around him. Sliding in and winning the ball. He's in with a chance. And disappointingly, not even close to hitting the target there. He was looking to open up his body, guide it into the corner, but he's got it all wrong. It's a poor attempt in the end. Martin Odegaard on to Jesus and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time incisive pass and still an opportunity and look at that a goal here for Arsenal who now have got themselves on terms Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, Kai Havertz, very difficult to contain in the first half. How would you sum up his performance? Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. So the match has restarted here in Manchester. De Bruyne has support. Given away by City. A chance for him on the flank, but timely defending when it mattered. Saka. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw-in coming up. Crossing opportunity. Tremendously strong in the tackle.
De Bruyne. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne has moved away from the flank. Holland. Options in the centre. The keeper in position to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. Now a short corner here. The inside route looks promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Holland. Promising looking ball. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 20, Jorginho. Martinelli. This is a message for all away supporters. Can you please advantage Arsenal after the game and your coach will meet you at the turnstile. Thank you. Arsenal have possession again. And Kai Havertz. I'll tell you what, that is really top class defending. Rodri. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it came to nothing in the end. 20 minutes remaining. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Coming off the pitch. Here it is now. A substitution. To be replaced by number 24. Kevin De Bruyne incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne can they take the lead here and it's in the back in front stunning scenes here well as you can see again De Bruyne plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders and then Haaland finishes it with such quality just look how much power he hits this with it's a top-class goal from a top-class player. Well, just look at Pep's celebration. He really is loving life at this particular point. So there we have it. 2-1. Havertz. Arsenal finding space on the wing. Blocking it. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This is looking threatening. Nelson. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. A corner to Arsenal. Will this be the catalyst for an equaliser? Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch. Number three, Ruben Diaz, to be replaced by number five, John Stones. They favoured a short one here, and crossed in there. A very effective clearance. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. De Bruyne. And a good-looking ball. Can he put it away? Well, the emphasis was on placing the shot, but it's all gone awry. Well, as you said, he had a lot of time to pick his spot, but it's a poor miss in the end, you have to say that. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Gabriel. Gabriel 
And here's Saliba. And David Raya has it now. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Gabriel Jesus! Oh, fine stop. Counter attacking, very much an option. And three minutes will be added on. Holland! And a really smart stop, an important one to keep them in with a chance. Well, that probably would have been it. That's such a vital save from the keeper. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, a goal! And an own goal at that. Well, not part of the script, was it? As you can see, it came off him last, and as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Showing a lot of guile there. Crossed into the penalty area. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. No more time is left. The referee blows for full time. And Manchester City are the team sitting in the box seat at present in the context of this time. Well, that was a top quality performance. They were sharp in attack, they passed it with purpose, and they closed the ball down really quickly. This display gives them one foot firmly in the final.